Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist. My mission in life is to teach every single person in the world how to paint. So this is our cowboy boot and I have stencils for you online that you can download. I have two sayings in my paintings. The first one is, every painting is divine with a little bit of wine. And the second one is, there are no mistakes, only possibilities. So we're going to drink some wine, we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to paint and it's going to be awesome. We have a whole family of brushes to help us paint today. So our largest brush is Big Daddy, Mama, Little Buddy, and Little Bit. Okay, so these are our brushes. You're going to need the following colors. We have a yellow ochre, brown, green, cobalt blue, white, black, and red. But you want to make sure that you have all of your paint set up in the beginning and I've got that on your supply list. I just squirt those out at the beginning of the class. And then I have extra plates that are just uh, empty for mixing. And then we have our rags. I get these um, at a hardware store. And then you wanna make sure that you've got your water set up. Oh, wine. Wine. So I've got two wine. cans of water here nearby. Cheers. I'm going to get started today with a template. I don't have templates for all of my paintings, but for this particular painting I do, and it just makes it a lot easier so that you've got this to work with as your starting point. I'm going to place it here, and you want to think about it being balanced on the canvas. If you want, uh, my type A friends like a ruler, they like to go ahead and measure from side to side and make sure that it's positioned in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and just be very straightforward with it and hold it in the center. And then I have a pencil here. And then I'm just going to do a light trace around the boot. So we have our cowboy boot drawn onto the template and now I think we are ready to actually start to paint. So I am going to start with Big Daddy. So I'm going to push it into the water, just get it moist and then I want to make sure that I release any excess water and then I want to make sure that I dry it off very well on my rag. And the reason why I tell you to do that, if you have too much excess water in your brush, if you were to push down on the canvas and you had excess water in your brush, then it would just create this erase line that would go all the way down the canvas. So we're going to start with red paint. And again, I'm using Big Daddy. So I'm going to push down into the paint on both sides of the brush. Okay, just like that. Most beginners, when they approach the canvas, and this is to represent my canvas so you can see what's happening, most beginners will approach the canvas and they'll hold the brush like this and they will start to apply pressure with a very heavy hand. And so as they're painting, they're erasing most of the paint off just as soon as they put it on the canvas. So what you wanna do is again load your brush make sure you've got a nice thick layer of paint resting on top of the brush this is when we're covering large areas and you want to change how you hold the brush so instead of holding the brush like this towards your canvas you want to hold it on the side on the flat side of the, of the brush towards the canvas 
and with a very light hand, you want to apply the paint. You can see how transparent this is and you can see how opaque this is. This is what we're going for here, is this very opaque, heavy solid coverage. So we've just got pure red paint now. And again, using the Big Daddy brush, which is your largest brush here in your supply list. And I'm just doing that X stroke. And I'm going to be doing this for a while as I paint all around the canvas. to dip the corner of my brush into a little bit of black. It's a very tiny amount. I have not rinsed my brush. I just dip right into a little bit of black. And you can see as I put it on the canvas how dramatic that is. That was a very tiny amount of black and it made a huge difference in the way that the paint looks. It does add some really nice variety to the color. It also helps give, give you better coverage with your red. It adds some nice depth. And then what you're going to start to encounter is the edge of the boot. So we're going to have to change our brush stroke because I've been teaching you how to go on the flat side of the brush, but now we need to go to the edge side of the brush. We have to now hold it in this direction and pull down. That makes a line. And just follow that around. the whole background done and we're going to need to rinse out and to help release the paint I can press the brush down on the bucket and I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off I'm just going to push down into the black paint both sides of the brush that loads the brush with paint but I still want my edges nice and thin so that I can do the lines and then I can fill in with the black paint <laughs> top of the boot we've got that little boot strap that we need to think about so it comes up just a little bit. Okay, so now we're done painting our boot. Acrylic paint needs minimally 15 to 20 minutes to set up and dry. And then when we come back, we're going to get out all of our fun stencils that I provided for you and we're going to draw them on the boot and then finish up. So now is a good time to go to the potty or get yourself a glass of wine. Cheers. I'm rolling. You're rolling. Awesome. Well, we are getting tipsy around here. We have had our second glass of wine. We have refueled. Look at how pretty that is. It's awesome. So now we're going to start in with our templates. And free spirits are welcome to just paint without templates. But if you would like to use them, you can. I have chosen this lovely little cross right here. And I'm going to use my pencil. I do want to think about planning for the bootstrap before I start. And I'm going to say that one more time because I think I said bootstrap. It's awesome. I said bootstrap. Look at how pretty that is. 
I'm going to plan for the bootstrap before I start putting in the cross. So I'm going to make a little pencil mark for where that bootstrap should be, about right there. Do the fleur de lis first. In Oklahoma, we call these a Florida leaf. A big, a big strap. <laughs> and we have our cross. So I'm gonna put that right here. And be one with the universe. If y'all hadn't guessed yet, we're in Oklahoma. So I'm going to mix up some turquoise and it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to use, no, I'm not gonna use that one. Nope. Nope. A big, a big <laughs> strap. I'm going to use the mama brush and pick up a big dollop of blue. And then I'm going to pick up a big dollop of white and put that on my mixing plate. And then I'm going to pick up a half dollop of green. Then I'm going to use mama like a spoon. Is that a song? I'm going to use mom like a spoon. And then I'm going to use little buddy. He still has little square head on top. And we're going to paint the cross now. Now we need to do our fleur de lis, so we need a tinier brush. So I'm going to switch over to Miss Little Bit right here, and I'm going to twirl the head of the brush into the paint. That loads the brush with paint, but it also makes a mighty fine point. <laughs> mighty fine. Now we have finished our fleur de lis and our cross, and we're going to start the daisies. You know what? I'm gonna back up a little bit. I need to do the heart first. And I'm going to use Little Buddy. Remember, Little Buddy has the flat top, and we used him to do the turquoise, so I have to rinse him out, give him a bath, and then release that excess water. So I'm pressing Little Buddy into the red paint. We've got our nice thick coverage. We're gonna let our heart set up and dry. And now, I am going to start in with the daisies. I cannot wait. It's going to be so exciting. So this is Miss Little Bit. We're going to twirl her into the white paint. That loads the brush and gives us a fine point. I'm gonna go ahead and do my dragging white outline around all the edges. 
I can use my pinky to help brace my hand here, steady it, and I can touch down and then lift off. I want this to be an imperfect looking sketch of a line. So we've done all the white parts first, and I'm going to rinse out a little bit dry her off, and then I'm going to twirl it into the red paint. And I'm going to do the little half circles. And now we're going to do the gold outline. So I'm going to clean off this little bit again, make sure I dry her off on the rag, and then I'm going to push her into the gold. Now I'm going to come back in and work on our fleur de lis and our cross a little bit. I'm still going to be using this little bit. I'm going to come in with the white and do an outline. make the flame that comes up on the top of the heart. So I'm going to rinse out my little bit brush again, dry her off, and then I'm going to come back in with the gold color. It's just pure gold so there's no mixing. And I come up for kind of a, a soft, they're like little triangles but they're, they're kind of curvy. I do a little one and then I do a bigger one in the center. I just come up to a point and then come back down. Then I follow the top edge of the heart. And then I fill this in. Now I've got a thick layer of paint, so now I'm going to switch my brush over to the edge side where it's wooden, and then I'm going to tool into it and just make a line. So now I'm going to make what appears to be like little decorative thorns on the heart. I'm going to be using this little bit again, and I'm going to twirl her into the black paint. And I start by making a swirl. And you can do two different designs on this. You can either do the swirls, or you can add a little bit of a thorn to it. And so now I need to fill in to my boot with some more little circles and fun designs. So I'm going to pull back into that turquoise color and I'm going to do an outline around the heart. Now 
going to make little Cheerio shapes, like the cereals is kind of a fun way to think of it. different random shapes to fill in. So now we have some final gold highlights to do, so I'm going to use Miss Little Bit. So I'm going to come back in with Miss Little Bit again and make sure that she's clean and dry. And then I'm going to rotate the head of the brush into the red paint. And I'm going to make a little heart here in the center of the cross. And now to finish up, you can go and make second coats on any part of the painting. The red sometimes will need a second coat. And then you can do little highlight strokes in random places. I'm going to get more red paint so that I can push a little bit down into the red paint and get a nice thick little blob of paint on the head of the brush and that way I can just kind of touch down on the paint, keep dipping back into the red paint and that gives me pretty tight little circles that I can just push on pretty easily. And now it is time to make a signature because you must sign your masterpiece. So I'm going to go back in with Miss Little Bit push her into the black paint. All right, well that does it. Congratulations, you are now a tipsy artist. Be sure to visit tipsyartist.com for more videos. And remember, every painting is divine with a little more wine. Until next time, I'm a tipsy artist. Whee! Don't look at me when you do that. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs>